So, hello guys, today I'm here with Ruben Lubus from ICMAG. So, Ruben, tell us, what do you do? Um, I do a lot of uh, innovation and cooperation based projects and I started uh, the project to do rap rap building parties and uh, we are here at one of these parties and we have uh, in uh, Dusseldorf where we built another seven machines uh, for the project and the people are pretty happy about it, I think. How long is it since we first date the, the part in, in Maastricht? Uh, that was in February of last year. And yeah, I asked Adrian, so at that year point, and a half? almost two years now. Oh my God. And uh, yeah, Adrian stated at that point that it was the first uh, course that we did. So yeah. It was the first successful course yeah. where people printed. Yes, it was awesome. It was. So, you also have one of my first machines. You are some kind of collector of wrap wrap things. Can you tell us something about that? Uh, yeah, I have a lot of parts from people that they made. I think uh, uh, it's nice to have uh, parts from people that are really famous, like people from the wrap wrap project, not just people that are known by millions of people. And uh, yeah, it's really nice to collect things from the beginning of a thing like this. Like uh, people still uh, looking at some uh, early computer projects and okay. having uh, them in museums. Can you tell us what memorabilia you have? Uh, well, I've got a lot of things. I've got the Prusa 1. I've got a knobhead uh, uh, printed uh, Mendel kit, I've got the Frankenbot, it's not completed yet, but <laughs> it's uh, the crowdsourced uh, Mendel yeah. uh, where everybody prints a part and everybody um, signs it and sends it to me with documentation, whatever they want. And when it's completed, I'll make a big show out of it with every part being uh, shown as their own part and we've, uh, I've got parts from uh, Adrian Boyer, um, Rhys Jones, um, Clement, um, Joachim Glauke, uh, I've got yeah, uh, a lot of them, uh, Rotoret, he made a really nice piece without boobies <laughs> and uh, um, yeah, it's almost half done now and uh, yeah, it's starting to look really nice. If people want to join in their parts, there are still places available. Look at the site, frankenbot.nl, and they can just add their part cool. and send it to me. How many, how many machines do you have? Uh, over 10 by now. I've got uh, the Huxley, I've got two Mandels, a uh, Shaper Cube, um, uh, about five or six rap raps, of which one is now in, uh, in Madeira on a project to get oh. uh, 3D printing to islands, which I think is a very interesting idea to get people yeah. to... Well, it's really difficult to get stuff to remote places like islands yes. and uh, um, they uh, could be printing a lot of these things themselves instead of just uh, importing everything. It's much cheaper to import the plastic and make some anything out of it. Yes, when you need it. Yeah. That is good. Yeah, they're really helpful in it. And I've been to the island now for two times. I'm going to try to go there this winter again. And uh, yeah, try to get uh, more printers there. They pick it up really easily. And uh, yeah, it's great fun. Cool. Uh, it might be fun to find uh, to know about how I started with the whole rap rap idea, because it was in the beginning. Uh, it was really still in the uh, well. The rap rap uh, Mendel was at that point still called Wedge, and the okay. Darwin was still uh, was still old. Uh, well, was still the new model, but <laughs> bad. Well, not very good functioning. And I built a Mandel, and it was really difficult to build. I bought uh, stuff from everywhere around the world. How much did it cost you? Uh, almost one and a half thousand euros. Holy crap. Yeah, now they're really cheap. Yes. And yeah, I was still struggling with building the, the, the whole machine. And uh, 
uh, at some point uh, I found a guy on the internet and he had a, a much more simplified machine and I was like hmm that might be fun so it turned out to be a guy from Czech so that was you and high five <laughs> and uh, I was like hey this machine can work really good so let's try to make something uh, well it is possible to make this machine instead of in four months of well, on and off work to make it in a weekend and that would be really cool if people would be able to do a weekend and get started with the whole machine and leave with a functioning machine and the information about how to use it. So I got in contact with, uh, with you and with Clement and a few other people and we just started out doing the project. Um, to have a few courses in, uh, in Maastricht and we got a lot of people interested and we had a great course. It we awesome. had a lot of help because the organization was a bit difficult at that yeah. point. But, but we, didn't, we didn't even know if we can actually make it in one weekend, right? Yeah, well, we, we I was tried, but very confident but I was like, okay, we're gonna try and because you don't know what kind of people you get during the course. Yeah, exactly. And it, uh, the first time you get uh, 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 people who are not technical at all, but this time uh, during the first course in Maastricht, it was really cool. We had people from nine up to 82, yeah. and a lot of uh, dads with children or uh, people with their parents. And it was really cool the moment that the first movement was. And you see the people going like, look that, 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 it's moving, it's moving, it's really good. Oh, wow, it's so beautiful. And uh, I kind of got addicted to the idea of uh, that, uh, that people uh, would be feeling so enabled uh, because of something that we made so easily. And yeah, we couldn't have pulled it off without the help of everybody who helped out. But yeah. Everybody is very enthusiastic about it too, and yeah, and even at this course again, where we don't know the model very well yet because it's a new version of the same machine, it's really nice to see how everybody cooperates and making sure that everybody's printing yes. at the end of the weekend. And yeah, now we're printing very good. Everybody printed some yeah. parts. It's second day, around four. And people are printing already for like two and a half hours. Three, yeah, since yeah. one o'clock about. Yeah, this is like the new record. <laughs> yeah, but the machine is improving all the time and that's one of the plus points of open source. Yes. Because, yeah, uh, some parts, uh, this model was made mainly by, uh, by Clement, the frame, but everybody joined in and they're part of the project. Yes. Uh, well, Nathan did a few of the, the front and back part and uh, yeah, it's really nice to see everybody cooperating and making the machine better without going uh, needing to use a big company to get the spare parts. We uh, think about spare parts and uh, draw them and print them and make the machine. Yeah. So development time is really short in this way. Anyway, do you have something um, last, what do you would love to say to rep rappers out there? Um, in the beginning, it's really difficult to find uh, your your way in uh, how the machine operates and how to work together, uh, work with the machine to get good results. But it's much easier if you uh, cooperate with the community. Uh, IRC channel is a very good source of information and direct confirmation that you're doing something right or wrong. So it's very interesting to meet the people who are also in the project already. And that's one of the plus points of uh, the open source project again. People like Lehman, you, me, we're available often on the IRC. So if you have questions, if you want to hold the course, if you want to know if this will, would be a good upgrade, uh, is this been tried before, you can always go back to the IRC and meet more friends and later on maybe meet them in person. Yes. Which in our case, 
made a lot of friends in, over the years now. Yes, okay. Thank you, Ruben. It was okay. nice meeting you again. It's nice doing the interview. Thank you. Hi, guys. Bye. Thanks.